Hello people, in this video let us look at um, falls in elderly. So basically why elderly fall? So um, here basically it could be acute illness like an infection, stroke, metabolic disturbance or heart failure. So you need to look at these as um, uh, this uh, fall could be a symptom of something which is underlying uh, cause, right? So you'll have to look at that. So they can black out because of hypoglycemia or uh, cardiac issues or what other causes can be there for blackout? <clears throat> Heat stroke extra, but anyways, here we are talking about the elderly. Mechanical and recurrent falls because of uh, weight bearing joints, some kind of uh, fracture, etc. Then coming to the risk factors for fall, they can have uh, muscle weakness, gait balance abnormality, use of walking aid, visual impairment can cause their fall, arthritis can cause their fall, correct? Depression. So all this you'll have to check and if they are taking some medication, you'll also have to check that which is, if it is causing the fall. Now, um, now what are the different abnormal gates that are there and uh, you will have to know what the cause are. So these are all neuropathic, cerebrovascular disease, <clears throat> some uh, cerebral uh, problem, right? So all this you'll have to look at. How will you stop uh, falls in elderly? Exercise, uh, give vitamins, uh, then uh, home assessment, home safety. <clears throat> then you have to check what medications they are taking, review them, cataract surgery, if they are eye uh, has uh, opacity in the lens, so get a cataract surgery, anti-slip shoes, etc. Cardiac pacemaker can be put in case they are having uh, any uh, cardiac uh, rhythm uh, abnormality, right? So here we have covered uh, falls in elderly. So look at this uh, guys, uh, they are checking the gait and balance. So they are asking the person to rise, can he rise, can he uh, stand steadily, can he walk uh, properly, can he turn properly, can he again sit down properly. So this is an assessment and um, there are some multi-disciplinary team roles here. They will ask this in the exam. The question that has been asked in the exam is name members of multidisciplinary team. So you have to name the uh, 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 multidisciplinary team members. Okay. So basically there will be a doctor, nurse, a social worker will be there, dietitian, speech therapist, occupational therapist, physiotherapist. Okay. So I think you know the job that each one does. Right. So they will ask this in the exam. Name the members of multidisciplinary team. Okay.